I'm Roberta and we're going to do a really quick side dish now. Something that I had never thought about, cooked radicchio. Now, I love radicchio in a salad, but the Italians often also cook it as a vegetable. So we have half a radicchio, which we're going to cut into quarters lengthways. We want the stem to hold together. Doesn't matter if a few of the leaves come loose. And we're going to pop that in the frying pan with some garlic, some rosemary, and some beautiful red wine vinegar. We're using Alto today. And uh, just wilt it on both sides for a few minutes and it's a fabulous side dish for just about anything, any roast meat. Um, you could even toss it through pasta, that would be delicious. So let's pop it on the stove. Okay, so a tablespoon or so of olive oil into the pan. In goes our crushed clove of garlic. I'm just going to stir him around over a low heat, low to medium, for a couple of minutes until it just starts to take on a little bit of colour. Okay, so that's smelling fabulous and just getting the tiniest touch of colour to it. So now in goes our radicchio. Just however you can put it so that they all fit in. This is a nice big one so he's going to fill the pan but that's good because it's going to wilt down okay radicchio in there another tablespoon of olive oil over the top you know what you can also just go drizzle 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 this is not one of those precise recipes i don't know any italian who measures olive oil rosemary over the top. Now rosemary and radicchio seems like a strange combination, but trust me, when you taste it, it works. And rosemary is one of those herbs that's so easy to grow. I'm no gardener, but my rosemary goes crazy. A little bit of salt. Again, don't be shy. Salt is flavour. And about a tablespoon. Again, you don't have to be too precise. But you don't want to overdo it with the vinegar, so maybe this one you do want to measure the vinegar. Sounds great. Okay, we're going to cook that for about three minutes, just until it started to wilt down. Then we're going to carefully turn it over. Again, you don't have to be too careful with it, and cook it for another three minutes or so. Okay, so after about three minutes, we're going to carefully turn it over. And it depends on the thickness of the radicchio, it depends on the heat of the pan, so the timing can't be too precise, but it started to wilt down nicely. And now we're going to give it another three or four minutes on the other side. We want it to just be tender, still have some firmness around the, uh, the white part, but the leaves to be nicely wilted. Okay, so there it is. That's been about four minutes. It's a, that, this one's a little thicker than I've ever had before. That's usually what happens when you're filming, isn't it? Um, if it's too thick, you might just want to pop a lid on it for a minute or two for the final cooking. Or if it's a really big one, you could even cut it into eggs. Again, it's Italian food. It doesn't need to be precise. So I think that's ready. It's wilted down. Uh, let's pop it on the plate. Okay, now I'm gonna say this is one of those dishes that might not look beautiful, but tastes really gorgeous. So here we are, it's nicely wilted, it's on the platter, it smells great. You can smell the rosemary, the garlic, and that beautiful red wine vinegar just gives it a really nice smell. Don't waste any of that. Over the top, yum, yum, yum. And as I said, with any roast meat, it's, you know, right here is bitter, but when you cook it like this, it takes on a nice sweetness as well. So there we go, she smudged the plate. Okay, beautiful, enjoy.